Today, I'm going to play some new FC25 features early because I'm him. EA Sports' worst nightmare. Thanks to the power of PC mods and editing tools, 80% of that career mode reveal was already possible on FC24. And now is being shown off as shiny new features, the key selling points, and main EA marketing, getting some fans more hyped than they've ever been before. We're talking about icons in both manager and player career, youth scale worldwide women's career mode new settings new updates and new cosmetics let's just showcase that most of what FC 25 has to boast about is already possible on <laughs> FC 24 all right there we have it here we land we've got the FC 25 new splash screen the new loading screen is already FC 25 themed so that's one tick off the checklist so these mods really make you feel like you've spent over a hundred pounds on the new game and of course these these new FC25 features aren't possible without a few bits and bobs, a few pieces from the FC24 Fifers Realism mod. So it's not like this new FC25 modded experience is possible with just one mod. We're kind of taking a little bit from here, a little bit from there and combining it to make this one complete modded experience. And I'll make sure of course to leave all the mods used in this video linked down in the description for you guys to try and test out for yourselves at home. <laughs> One of the main problems with mods is that sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. They require a lot of trial and error if you're doing what I'm doing and like combining a bunch of them together. And to be honest, it can get quite frustrating if you're not a PC savvy, tech savvy person. I've had some issues recently, hence the uh, outfit change. One tip of advice, especially if you're loading up heaps, is not to connect to the servers like I'm doing here. That's a mistake on my part, but definitely fix it. And if you're connected to the servers, you might get baited into downloading the latest squads, which you don't want to do. It might ruin and corrupt some of your squad files. So that can easily be a trap you fall into. One of the first major features you're going to notice with all these FC25 mods added is that no matter who you pick, no matter where you are, no matter where you're managing, you will be loaded up straight into 2024. There we have it, July 2024. You can play in current day, basically. You skip the first year in career mode and you instantly thrown into the 24 slash 25 season if you go over to your calendar you load up into basically pre-season the end of the euros and trust me it's not just a visual change you see this impacted everywhere when it comes to do with player ages player contracts Everett Chiesa is actually 26 like he is in real life everything's up to date and if you're taking over a club like Crystal Palace you're gonna have to do a lot of contract and admin work behind the scenes because all your contracts have been reduced by a year you might have to renew you some you're gonna see some loanies expire the 23 24 season is all but a memory and so are all the kits and club badges and aesthetics we have pretty much all the major sides getting all their updated new jerseys for better or for worse all the new kits are applied and it just makes it feel that much more realistic now when it comes to smaller graphical details and minor new visuals we have a couple to go over firstly it's atletico madrid with their old badge or they're bringing back their old Old badge they switched it up from that new modern look so it gives them somewhat of a fresh look alongside the new La Liga logo patch that was updated last season but now has a fresh new look a very simplistic just the LL there it doesn't even look like two L's like it's just the strangest looking logo ever it's been rebranded alongside Ligue 1 McDonald's yes the French League has gone from Ligue 1 Uber Eats to Ligue 1 McDonald's forget the Farmers League out here it's the fast food Food league. And you guessed it, the corresponding new sleeve patch slash league logo has been applied to the kit. And there you go, League on McDonald's with the McDonald's logo. You get more of a refreshed viewing experience. It's a much welcome change and addition. Instead of paying like $100 or more for a roster update and new kits, thanks to a brand new modded squad update from the one and only Viper Mods. Up to date as of the 19th of August, so I can apply that to my game. And we have all the new transfers. All the new summer moves that have been making the headlines. And of course, Kukurea's Spanish red sideshow Bob-esque looking hair in all of its updated glory. It also makes it so you don't have to manually relegate and promote teams. When you're going through that initial startup of your career mode, they're just automatically there. I don't have to do anything. Ipswich are already in the prem. A Vincent company less at Burnley are back in the championship. And as much as I don't want to admit, Frosinone are back in Serie B. Cesc Fabregas's Cormor are in Serie A. And speaking of 
of Serie A when it comes to the likes of Inter and Milan getting removed. They are still both in the game with all their updated 24-25 season kits. They still remain fully licensed. The San Siro isn't removed. We've still got Lazio. Roma are here. Napoli, of course. Monza, who will be unlicensed in FC 25. And we ain't balling around with Bergamo Calcio, baby. It is Atalanta. Not only are all the teams in all the correct leagues, but we also have all the transfers done and ready for us to use like Mbappe at Real Madrid, Matias Sule at Roma. God damn, man. I'm gonna cry. All the 58 million signings that Chelsea have made over the summer. Yeah, they, their list just keeps on going and going. This squad file pretty much affects everyone besides Liverpool who still haven't bought anyone with pretty much most of the high profile moves being completed. But the likes of Archie Gray to Spurs, Desiree Due to PSG, Ricardo Calafiori and all his Italian aura. He's got the headband, the long hair, the face scan is on point. It's been a big transfer window so far and there's still more to do. There is still more weeks left. So who knows what other craziness and madness can go down. Lenny Yoro, the new exciting teenage prospect. Unfortunately, he is injured to start off the season. He's out for like three months. Another wonder kid pick up from the Parisian Joao Neves from Benfica's Youth Academy. The kid was linked to them all summer long and the boy Dominic Salanke, 65 million pounds spent by Big Ange to bring the former Liverpool Youth Academy talent over to North London. Pedro Neto, he's just one of many Chelsea signings this summer and for the last two seasons, they just continue to spend. Joshua Xerxes, another one of these big Manchester United buys. I think he'll have a big year ahead of him in England. Savio Savinho, I don't really know what to call this guy, but the City Group transfer to Manchester City, who's kind of been like the Brazilian Mares replacement. Douglas Luiz, another one of these Juventus midfield purchases. Danny Olmo, who can't even be registered by Barcelona. Why did they spend all that cash on him when he can't even play? Barcelona are just a joke and a mess of a club. Alvarez and Gallagher will be linking up, making the switch from the Premier League to Atletico Madrid. Matthias De Ligt again. United have actually had a crazy window, you know. They've had a solid career mode-esque transfer market. And finally, last but not least, the free transfer to end all free transfers. He's made the dream move to Real Madrid. And those are just some of the main signings I found. There are hundreds more in this mod, in this squad file that you will find throughout your playthrough. Unfortunately, you're still working off the FC24 database. However, there is a workaround. Once the FC25 database and all the player ratings and that drop, go through all of your team and pretty much any other player in the world that you want to upgrade or downgrade. You can make your way through editing all your players. Let's say Eberichi Eze. He's probably going to have a massive upgrade for FC25. Because I have the unlocked player editor activated where I can pretty much go through, adjust his height, adjust his weight, change his name, change his nationality. Not only can I do all that, but I can change up his attributes where I see fit or if you just want to copy the FC25 attributes and ratings. I can give him upgrades in finishing, volleys, short passing, weak foot ability. You can pretty much customize everything. Let's just give him 90 dribbling. I'm sure he is going to get some insane upgrades. And then we're going to apply the changes. going to boot us all the way back to the edit player screen and we have to scroll all the way down. A nice little 83 rating, a plus three. Look, this one is pretty much almost guaranteed to happen. A major Cole Palmer upgrade is incoming. The power is at your fingertips here. Let's give him more acceleration, more sprint speed, more agility. Give him 99 composure because he's ice cold Palmer. Again, I'm just doing this to show an example for experimentational purposes. And he's now copped an 84 rating. I'm sure EA are going to give him something higher than that for FC25, but you get the gist. Making you feel like you're having that FC25 experience step by step. And not only do we get to start in 2024, but we get all the updated managers and all the new appointments that have been made over the summer, basically, like Antonio Conte at Napoli. Cesc Fabregas is looking a little bit different these days at Como. This ain't a new one, but you can now be Chabi Alonso at Bayer Leverkusen, Yuri Sahin at Dortmund, or even Vincent Company. Enzo Maresca at Chelsea, Arne Slot, Julian Lopetegui at West Ham. Like, most importantly, this comes in clutch with, like, the newly promoted teams because their assets and face scans don't usually get added into the game after a couple of months. So you're getting a little taste of them here. And to keep things ultra realistic, knowing that the transfer window is done and dusted and all the moves have been completed, going ahead and disabling the first summer transfer window is usually a good idea. And not only do you get all the new summer transfers added, but with a few mods combining together, we have added some brand new players and brand new wonder kids to the database that aren't in FC24 and will only be added 
into FC25. They'll be available at launch, and it's these two, the most highly requested wonder kids career mode has ever seen. Barcelona's Lamine Yamal, fresh off winning the Euros for Spain. He has had the summer of his life, and not only him, but the South American sensation, Endrick. It's become permanent from Palmeiras. He's had his like reveal, he's had his player announcement, and we don't have to wait for FC25. We've got them here, ready to ball out in the new kits. With their most recent and updated look, they both have their face scans, looking pretty much picture perfect in my opinion. They will definitely be in FC25 from day one, but I doubt they're going to have actual face scans, or if this new FC cranium is going to do them justice with a custom face. Konami still have the Barcelona license. They've got the exclusive rights to not only the team, but most importantly, the camp new, and they get first access to all the new player scans, so his head scan might not come to FC25 for a while. The list doesn't stop there. We've got so many more new wonder kids to get through, and we have the likes of Mikey Moore, Tottenham Hotspur Youth Academy product. He is a threat going forward. Most likely will be newly added in FC25 alongside Esteval Willian, who's been linked to Chelsea, Barcelona. Another one of these Brazilian talents that are emerging from Palmeiras. Thanks to the Brazilian leagues being exclusive to eFootball, he won't get added into the game unless he makes a big money move to Europe or a league that's actually in FIFA. And you're probably going to get tired of me saying these words, but we have another new wonder kid with an accurate new face scan, and it's Kendry Paez, who is currently at Chelsea, but he's loaned back to his Ecuadorian team, I want to say. Gabriel Moscardo is a similar case, the new PSG wonder kid who's been bought from Brazil. The Brazilian defensive units and the South Americans don't stop there. We have got the River Plate talent, the teenager, Franco Mastantuono at 16, like Mikey Moore, can pretty much play anywhere in attack. And here are a few wonder kids I've thrown together that are actually in the base game of FC24, but they have an updated game face scan and don't have one of those generic faces. Like we all know EA at this point, who knows when these wonder kids are gonna get the proper face scan treatment later down the line. They're in no rush to capture their faces and put them in the game. So that's where these mods are an absolute lifesaver in the career mode realm. BCHD, you've got all these new wonder kids, but now you've gotta go ahead and scout them all individually, wait for their reports back and go through all that GTN nonsense. Because we know a big new feature, you can toggle on and off and turn off various segments of the game and one of those is player scouting and bringing it back to the good old days where you just saw everyone's overalls, saw everyone's attributes. Well, I hate to break it to you a lot, but I've already had that power since like FIFA 20 when I switched to PC with Aaron Actu's Mighty Cheat Engine. Now I've shown this bad boy off in a video once before, but just in case you're new around these parts, that you have so much control and power over your career mode save. And if you want to disable scouting, we head down over to the Global Transfer Network section and then just click on reveal player data and bam or we can just go straight to our transfer hub and everything is revealed to us we only have to click one button the whole database all their attributes all their overalls it is public information and public knowledge so a nice little quality of life fc25 feature that you can already pull off without spending hundreds of dollars on buying the new game now another area of the game that gives you access to all the 24 slash 25 season aesthetics and new visuals for your career remote experience. I feel like, you know, managers appreciate this as well, but it's mostly for the My Play community out there. This mod gives you access to over 600 player boots, fully unlocked, ready for you to try on, whether you're editing players in manager career mode, or fixing up your look in My Player, or even adjusting your new Youth Academy talents. You've got so many more new options. Look at the little bar, the side scroller. Look how small it is. Look at this library and catalog of new boots. The night catalog alone is just just massive and then you're starting to get a few more Adidas. You got the old Messi F50s in there. This is going to take me maybe half an hour to get through all these boots but pretty much all of them that have the shoe box in the picture. Those are the newly added boots if you couldn't tell already. And it's not only just the big brands, not only just Nike and Adidas but you've got the likes of Puma, Mizuno, you've got some Volta shoes thrown in there as well. Yeah, we're just going to be here for days. We're not even halfway through and I'm still scrolling. You've got the likes of Umbro, New Balance. I'm just going to name our brands at this 
this point because I can't even show you guys all of them. I remember those. That colorway is just insane. I love that. The purple and green, bro. It is turning me on. I actually had those boots in real life. They are cold, bro. And the list get... Oh, we, we, we're not even halfway. I'm going to have to speed run this because there are just so many colorways, so many models. And we just keep going, keep going, keep going, basically. It is just never ending at this point. There are so many customization options and the possibilities are endless. Man, we are out here. We've pretty much got basically every single boot in existence at this point. We've got even, like, you know, the old classics, the Puma King Pele's out here. Oh, the old Ronaldo's. We've got the retros that they added in a few years ago. They've been brought back. Oh, the OG Hyper Venoms too. It's bringing back a lot of nostalgia. If you're obsessed with football cleats and you're a big boot nerd, th this mod is perfect for you. Trying to make our way towards the end of the list. Oh, bro, those old Adidas Messier 50s. These options are insane, man. Like, EA will never let you unlock this many boots or have legacy boots in the game, let alone have this many at your disposal. Now, when it comes to goalkeeper gloves, I'm not too familiar with what's new or what actually has been added with this mod, but here's your selection. You've still got the default and generic EA ones, of course, but they have added a couple more new brands. I don't think Puma was ever in the game or there are that many options available to you in the base game. Once you finally switch to the PC Master Race and unlock all these mods, you just can't go back. The freedom is just addictive. I feel like I have so much power. Even if you're online, EA can't stop you. You won't get banned. As I've tested on my channel before. FC25 also boasts the option to turn off your board objectives so you don't get sacked. Something that has been the bane of all managers' existence from whenever they were introduced from like FIFA 17 to now. But need I say again, with this handy little tool, the cheat engine comes in clutch again, where you can edit your manager rating. So pretty much whatever you do, whatever you sign, whatever players you decide to sell, the board won't get angry and sack you. Pretty much just go on over to the manager tab and click unsackable, which pretty much makes you invincible. The board are never going to do anything. We back out and it applies instantly. Within one swift movement, everything has changed and we have an excellent current status with the board, a 99 manager rating, and we ain't getting the boot anytime soon. Even if we send the club down to the fourth tier, we'll still be in charge and we don't really have to stress. Now, when it comes to these mods adding new visuals, we're not done there. We actually are going to have to jump into a match to see some new little assets in the game day experience. Not only do we have all the new kits at our disposal and even some new fantasy kits thrown in the mix, even alternate options depending on which club. And no, these mods don't bring back the player lineups and the players walking out of the tunnel. It seems like that's just impossible for these PC mods to do. Like, there, there's only so much they can do and that thing is one of them. So you're either going to have to go back to FIFA 23 or you're actually going to have to buy FC 25 because they've brought back the pre-match intros Nevertheless, upon kickoff in the game day experience, we have the Sky Sports Premier League TV logo in the top right hand corner. A nice little touch and a bit of attention to detail when it comes to the overall broadcast package and experience. Now on the topic of new visuals, they don't stop there because when it comes to Champions League matches and Champions League nights, I found a mod that adds the new 24-25 scoreboard and unfortunately you're not going to get the new experience, like the new format, but the new scoreboard in the top left, it looks a little slightly different. It's still got the main Champions League theme, but it looks slightly different. It's gotten a few little updates. I'll put like a before and after picture so you can really tell, only if you've got a keen eye. It's just a slight little change you're gonna see, especially when the team font comes up at the start. Yeah, you can see the number and like the font is slightly different. Like it's just a minimal change, but it makes a difference in the grand scheme of things and it's probably something you're gonna see in FC 25. Look, some of these details might be small, but it's attention to detail and something that all career mode players can appreciate. Now, another cool attention to detail type feature is that depending on what competition you play in or depending on what club you are actually, the actual kit number font will change. For some clubs like Man City and other competitions, they have a different style number font that the club changes up every year just to keep it fresh, just to keep it different. Like that kit has the Premier league number font for some reason but these other alternate and away they both have that club exclusive number font and here's a better look at it in game not only that but the pre-match anthem jackets and the warm-up track suits that's been added thanks to the realism mod again all these small little attention to detail type features really add up and make it feel 
like you're actually playing a real life game like there you go that's the Premier League number font even with Arsenal's new kit but they are playing in the community shield so Man City's new competition font is activated so to be honest I like how it looks with like the small name print as well it kind of gives it like a different feel I'm pretty sure United have got this well they have their own competition exclusive font but there's a little bit more of a closer look at it yeah I haven't got the full list at my disposal it's more of a discover as you go type beat you can see there on the Real Madrid shorts and their new kit when they play in the Champions League they've got that slick looking club font and there you go Chelsea's new competition font in the game they get these little features when it comes to the slight cosmetic changes that you actually see in game but a tangible way you can make the game feel different and make it also feel like you play an FC 25 gameplay you can actually install gameplay mods and apply them to make the whole match day experience feel completely different I've got one on right now and it just feels much more realistic much more slow not very arcadey so it's definitely out there for you to experiment and try with but I don't usually have the gameplay mod ticked it's not really what I'm after it's not really what I feel like playing like that ultra realistic very slow movement less arcadey type unless I was doing like a simulation only career mode but it's definitely a nice little micro change that actually impacts the gameplay and it'll make you feel like you're playing a whole brand new game it'll make you feel like you're playing FC 25 without actually giving EA money whatsoever EA are never really gonna beat the allegations so you might as well give other gameplay configurations a go there are tons of gameplay mods out there for you to go out and test so feel free to use whichever ones you want because they actually do make a difference and you definitely feel it upon first try what I've just discovered too is that this game actually gives you like realistic free agents like Adrian Rabio he's out of the Juventus project the contract's been terminated looming around in the free agents so Man City picked him up on a free I disabled the transfer window so I'm not really sure how that deal was able to progress so that's another thing this mod comes in clutch with real life free agents aren't deleted from the game like they would be in the base game of FC like in every other sports game they'll just get thrown into the free agency not actually deleted and it most of the time reflects what's going on in real life I don't know what EA's obsession is with just deleting players as soon as they get their contract terminated why can't you just keep them in the game don't remove them it just makes the career mode experience that much more realistic but we're back on the new FC 25 features and one of the main new components in this year's game it's gonna be the youth Academy that needed a long well-deserved upgrade probably a couple years back but you know better late than never not only can we load up into pretty much any new save you start with a 14 year old player that's just automatically in our default youth Academy we have the Frenchman Mario Le Manson the left wing back is 14 that's been promoted as a major feature it's a game-changing feature considering you know we've seen players like Lamina Mao debut for Barcelona at like 15 so there shouldn't really be a restriction it should just be whenever you think they're ready or if you're in an emergency and need a player to fill in for a spot I hate to break it to you but it's already possible here in FC 24 and sometimes you might get lucky you might get multiple 14 year olds that break the age limit and really put your youth Academy production to the test but not only can the 14 year old spawn in your starting youth Academy but you guessed it you can already scout them out in the wild and not only just in the default nations that are in FC 24 but in any nation possible not just the 160 or so that FC 25 adds but well, we can pretty much go anywhere in the world and that's again thanks to the cheat engine that has given us access to these FC 25 features early we pretty much just scroll down to the youth Academy sector and what you want to check off is sending the scout to any country so you can also send him to the same country three times over if you really want to by allowing multiple scouts in the same country and when it comes to selecting what country you want to scout in you've pretty much got every single FIFA ranked nation at your disposal here and according to some of the main complaints people have about these 160 countries in FC 25 both Gambia and Cape Verde still aren't scoutable because they just weren't included in the 160 plus so I'm gonna send one to Cape Verde and once we have that applied you can pretty much just go in select the scout you want set up a network pretty much just send him anywhere a nine-month trip and there you go once you've clicked through the cheat engine tool has done its magic you've got pretty much every country ready to explore ready to scout so we have gotten Gambia of course and somebody in off for the lols so two nations left out of FC 25's roster and one of the worst FIFA ranked nations in the world so this will be fun and as predicted there are players aged 14 in these scout reports we've gotten back from Cape Verde because these nations aren't officially 
in FC24. I'm not sure how the name pool has gone in terms of the last name variety and if these last names are actually like accurate to all the Cape Verdeans out there, but uh, scouts seem to do a pretty good job. There aren't any duplicates that I can see straight off the bat, so it's a promising sign because not only does the cheat engine let us know their overalls and potential straight away, I also have a name pool mod applied, so it has added thousands of new names to the game, but only in specific countries. So for someone like Gambia, Jalo, we've gotten a duplicate. Really just depends on where you're scouting in the world. When it comes to these more exotic and random places, you might see a few duplicates in that sense. But in every single report we've gotten back so far, we've been able to find 14 year olds. Oh, pass. So again, another feature that FC25 is proud about, we have full access to in FC24. So this is a major W when it comes to the Youth Academy. Now this is something that needs to be fixed or improved upon for FC25 and that is having a youth academy capacity like you're only allowed 16 players like why is that a thing why is that a limitation why can't we have different youth academy teams and just have an unlimited player amount in our youth academy anyway we're at max capacity and it's a fix that not even mods have the answer to but hopefully fc25 is the end of where we're seeing 14 year olds with fully grown beards and also the other extreme where 14 year olds are bold so you could pretty much Build a team of 14 year olds. Adam Johnson would love this feature. You've got the new name pools or the new nations to scout in. So let's just say the FC25 Youth Academy overhaul has been long overdue. You get the idea, you get the gist, and that is another FC25 career mode feature we can tick off. So if this doesn't convince you to start installing mods on FC24, I don't know what will. Now we're saving the best till last tier. One of the final FC25 features that you are able to pull off in FC24. It's the addition to add icons cons not only to play a career but manage a career and give yourselves an early taste of everything women's career mode has to offer. First off we're gonna start with loading up the icon squad file and that's where you have pretty much all the icons at your disposal and the free agency is basically full of every single icon you can imagine and they're all waiting for you either to put directly into a manager career, transfer them to a different team, you can transfer them to teams they actually played for in real life or transfer Transfer them to any team you want for them to start a player career mode with, which is pretty much the main feature of player career in FC25. So this makes it all possible. You pretty much have the whole entire icons roster for you to play around with. It's not going to be limited like FC25's release, where they're only going to be five at the start and they're slowly going to roll out more and more throughout the game cycle. You've pretty much got every single icon and hero you could ever dream of. And you've also got all the new heroes thrown in there just, just to shake it up a bit. Peter Crouch, Timmy Cahill, Clint Dempsey, all set back to their prime, all set back to their youth at 18, a perfect start for a player career. Go ahead and choose your selected team where you actually place the icon. So for example, I put Baggio back on AC Milan. So he's gonna be there waiting for me to start up a brand new career save at 18. And we're going to start our career with Baggio, just like everyone else can do in FC 25. All you console players get this treatment, but the FC 24 PC experience is just goated. And just to prove to you that it actually works, we can go in, edit our wages and all that, and bam, we are thrown in. The new man Baggio into Boost Milan and our player career starts pretty much just like that. Again, another one of these features that PC mods have had on lock for years now. It's about damn time that you console lock got to experience icons in career mode. It's a shame that they're only in player career mode. However, the only workaround to get them into manager career, and I'm talking about when you actually play FC25, is pretty much you just got to retire. You got to confirm your retirement straight away, and then you're just going to get thrown offers left, right, and center. This is the only workaround if you want to use them as actual managers or you want to create different storylines because on console you won't actually be able to control what offers you get i don't think this system will change right here you should be able to pull this off in fc25 career mode and bam just like that we have gotten icon managers and it's just you know the perfect combination and we all know that we had that squad file loaded we messed around with a bit of the roster we transferred a few icons here and there once we go ahead and search through the free agency they're all going to be there waiting for for us we hit 16 to 18 and there are all the icons it is a long laundry list of famous players are waiting for you to pick them up on a free or you could just let the cpu decide it's really up to you at the end of the day i think that's what it comes down to with the power of these mods like you could just create random storylines create utter chaos in your career mode universes you can just let them loose into the modern era
era, whether you're in manager or player career, it is something I wish all career mode players got to access and got the power to do. But again, if you ain't on PC, what are you doing? And you get to see what the likes of ballers from the past are actually valued in this current market. For example, R9 Ronaldo, 156 million pounds. Pele, 176 million pounds. And you can create random scenarios like this where uh, Roberto Baggio, being a manager of Frosinone, is negotiating with prime Andrea Pirlo and his agent. Like, if it wasn't for PC career mode, this game would be dead and buried a long time ago. Like, once I made the switch back in, I think it was 2019 now, it's just night and day. Vanilla career mode becomes unplayable. And it's that simple, people. The divine ponytail gets it done. And I'm sure you'll be able to pull off similar things in FC25. So you kind of get more with this squad file. You not only get them in player career mode, you literally feel like a career mode god once you make the switch. And it just shows you how easy and nonchalant these FC25 new features are. Like these could have been added to the game like two, three FIFAs back. And we saw that potential in FIFA 20 when you were able to like access the soccer aid team and actually use them as playable icons in career mode but they just stopped letting that happen ever since FIFA 21 and now we've had to wait till FC 25 for anything actually tangible to happen and again women career mode and adding female players is just as simple as loading up a squad file that completely revolutionizes your database and gives you a complete overhaul but if you guys want to check that out go watch the video I did a couple months back where I played women's career mode inside of FC 24 they called me a madman but I I was able to pull it off. That's been it for me showing off to you guys and showcasing that FC24 mods have the power to give you some FC25 features early. Feel free to try them out. The links will be down in the description below. Of course, some are free, but some you have to pay for either on Patreon or any other means. Of course, you know me, I'd highly recommend it to anyone that is a career mode fanatic. And it's just a must have if you love experimenting. I hope you a lot enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below if you want more modded content on the channel if you want to see mods for fc25 you know where to find me you know where to keep it locked and loaded stay right here on the bchd channel people as always i've been your boy sir bchd have a great day take care and i'll catch you lot on the very next video Bye bye